It's been four years since founder of soft cell biological research Brent Hunt and his students began isolating L-form bacteria in blood samples at Dixie State University. We find that uh, L-form bacteria are far more numerous in those with autoimmune disorder and those as we age, so we actually carry more bacteria than we do when we're younger. By looking at live samples under a microscope, Hunt said they often find more than just bacteria. The research he and the students at Dixie State University are finding are beginning to tie the bacteria to certain autoimmune diseases. If you have chronic fatigue, likely you have fibromyalgia, likely you have chronic migraines and anemia. SoftCell currently has several patents pending on endometriosis and fibromyalgia findings. Hunt said they currently have about 1,600 samples and rising. We have over 7,000 bacteria in here, over 2,000 species, uh, at least 250 new species of mankind. Their joint research study partner, Oxford University in England, will also be their first official customer. A very prestigious university uh, in the UK that is going to start sending samples to us uh, for their fibromyalgia study. Since the time of these discoveries, SoftCell has hired on more staff, brought in more students, and is outgrowing the research lab at Dixie State University. This lab is currently 1,800 square feet. Hunt and his investors plan to move into this 13,000 square foot facility located in the industrial park in St. George. This new lab will cost about $2 million to build on out and staff. And so with that, uh, you know, there's a lot of credentialed individuals that uh, you need to hire for a CLIA approved lab. Growing from a staff of six, Hunt hopes to expand that to 40 in the new lab and grow it to 100 within two years. The first test they plan to market once they get their new lab up and running will be for recurrent urinary tract infections. And we've really found quite a few uh, exciting uh, reasons why these reoccur and we can fix these. Hunt said they want to get into the prevention of certain diseases before they get a handle on the patient. We have over 250 bacteria in our lab that produce antibiotics against pathogens. So, you know, that was really the discovery along the way that we never expected. Um, but with that, now we have detection and in the end we'll have a cure. The way I look at it, and I've told everybody who's ever invested that if you invest in this company, walk-ins, if you can walk into my lab in St. George, Utah, I'm going to still test you for free. From Dixie State University, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.